Hey everyone, it's Heather and this is MacTrack, your weekly look back at everything Mac sports related. It is crossover season, which means peak Maction, so here are the highlights. Top-seeded Bowling Green made their third consecutive appearance in the Women's Soccer Championship game, taking on number 7 Eastern Michigan, who is making their way back to the title game for the first time in 11 years. The Falcons and Eagles were scoreless after double overtime, forcing the game into PKs for the second straight year. BG defended their title from a year ago, winning the 2019 crown 3-1. The Falcons are headed to Ann Arbor for the first round of the NCAA tournament. Their game versus Michigan is set for Friday at 7 p.m. Over to field hockey, Kent State and Miami taking on the championship game for the seventh time in conference history. The record standing at three games apiece. This one was going to the Red Hawks for the three-peat with a final score of 2-1. to one. Miami drew Stanford in the first round of the tournament. They take the pitch today at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Last night, Bowling Green and West Virginia clinched their spot in Friday's men's soccer semifinals. The number six Mountaineers knocked off number three SIUE 1-0. They will take on number two Western Michigan at 3 p.m. Number four Bowling Green topped number five NIU 2-1 off an Achille Robbins PK in overtime. The Falcons will meet the top-seeded Akron Zips at 6 p.m. for the semifinal nightcap. The winners advance to Sunday's championship at 1 p.m. All three matches this weekend will be broadcast on ESPN+. Next week, we'll be down in Bowling Green for the 2019 Volleyball Championships, but regular season and division titles are still up for grabs with two games left in the season. Miami and Central Michigan sit in the 1-2 spots if the tournament started today. They lead their respected divisions. You can check out our website for ESPN watch links for the final matches this weekend. And make sure you're following our social accounts on Saturday evening for the official tournament bracket. Shifting gears over to the basketball court, first game of the season for Ohio and sophomore Erica Johnson throws down a triple-double, the first in program history. The reigning MAC freshman and sixth player of the year ended the night with 24 points, 13 rebounds, and 11 assists, making her just one of three players in the country with a triple-double this season. First road game of the season for Western Michigan men at Milwaukee, Michael Flowers drains not one, not two, but three buzzer beaters to keep the Broncos alive through three overtimes. He finished the game with 34 points as Western Michigan picked up their first row W, 115 to 110. In Olympic news, Eastern Michigan sprinter Brittany Mason made her USA Paralympic team debut on Tuesday at the World Para Championships in Dubai. Her first international race was one for the record books, literally, as she crossed the line of the 100 meter T47 in a world record time of 11.89, leading Team USA to a 1-2 finish in the event. We want to wish our cross-country student-athletes good luck this weekend as they are hitting the course for NCAA Regionals. For everything else Max Sports related, check our website GetSomeAction.com and make sure you're following at Max Sports on all social media. We'll see you guys next week.